politicians have been beneficiaries of the drug money in this country and we have seen them come and go from Mombasa collecting money from non-drug dealers and they have kept quiet all this time because they are beneficiaries. In my view, they are also addicts. So, if you want to pretend that this is not a problem, look at what Pablo Escobar Gavaria did in Colombia. He was a great guy. He was doing social services, he was building schools, he was giving out food, and then he positioned himself as anti-establishment, attacking the president and all this nonsense. He was loved by the people. But then what did he do to Colombia? He almost destroyed that country. And what is happening in Colombia, what happened in Colombia is happening right now in Mombasa. Today we have youth gangs. Today we have massive amounts of money, narcotics money circulating in this city. Today we have murders that are unexplained. Today, Old Town, which was one of the safest areas of Mombasa, is now a dangerous zone. Look at Kisauni today. Large parts of Kisauni at night are extremely dangerous. What is happening here is exactly what happened in Colombia. Let us not pretend that this is not a serious problem. It's a major problem. And when a coastal politician stands up and starts trying to turn the whole thing into a political issue, He's talking nonsense. I'm amazed that this thing is allowed to go on. Now, the proposal that I want to put forward to the national government and to all our political class, and I want to encourage them that we need to push for two major laws. Number one, let us make drug trafficking a capital offense, like it is in Malaysia. You sell drugs, you get hanged. Number two, let's follow the American laws, the anti-drug proceeds of drug trafficking laws. Well, if you are convicted of dealing in drugs, all your assets, your house, your cars, your boats, even your clothes are confiscated by the government. We make drug trafficking a high risk, low return business. Today, drug dealers get arrested at 10 o'clock in the morning. At four o'clock, somebody will release them from the police station, case finished. How can we fight this drug menace here? And I find it shocking that our governor gets on TV and starts getting very worked up and very emotional about this issue. Oh, I'm not a drug dealer. Who accused him of being a drug dealer? Who named him that he's a drug baron? Who said that he's selling drugs? Who said that he's marketing drugs? Nobody. So why is he getting worked up? This is a continuation of his typical tactics of trying to play victim. <coughs> Oh, my bodyguards have been taken away. Oh, my dog has been arrested. All sorts of nonsense. He should get on with his job and start by at least cleaning the city. The only thing that we've ever accused this governor of, 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 uh, of not doing is he doesn't have a degree. Everybody knows that. It's not a secret. Every standard four kid in Mombasa knows he doesn't have a degree. We'll repeat it again and again.